Hi guys, welcome back to another Red Dog Gaming video where we are starting a brand new campaign in quick succession of our brand new Skippy Eye campaign, so check that out in the description down below. And today we are playing a brand new mod that looks so interesting, so cool that I wanted to really check it out. It's Empire 2 Total War, Empire Total War 2 should I say, with VDM. And VDM kind of adds kind of paradox elements into the Total War game. It's an interesting marry up and maybe something for Creative Assembly to look at and go, maybe we could add a bit of Paradox esque depth into the game. Now, thank you to the Terminator for bringing this mod to my attention. I saw his mod showcase and both his live streams on this mod, and I just thought I have to check this out. It looks so cool. So I'll put a link to his channel down in the description below, but I'm sure many of you are already familiar with it. Now, we're playing on very hard. Very hard, and on the Terminator livestream, very hard battles looked genuinely very hard. I've played a lot of Darth Mod in this game on very hard, so uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Um, and yeah, we should get right into it, and we'll go through some of the features of the mod to start with. But yeah, because it's a brand new campaign, guys, please smash that like button. See if we can get up to 20 likes with this campaign. Um, just to get that YouTube algorithm purring into action once again. Yeah, we don't care what you think. I'm sorry. Um, but yes, here we are in the mod. It looks beautiful. Empire does look beautiful. I love Empire. All these new flags. France, the Bourbon flag. Look at Westphalia. That's very different. Uh, Württemberg. Spain obviously has the royal, uh, the royal flag of the... Uh, Trastamara dynasty, I believe they still have at the time. I'm not sure. Uh, but yes, let's go into the features. So we have a lot of tasks to complete. Slave trade. Use the slave labor on plantations. We have a plantation. <laughs> not less than 500 slaves. Jesus. Well, cancelling me straight out of the gate. Dirty election. So you can see they have these sort of events with VDM that you get to choose different things. And of course, we'll side with the government. We are the government, so why would we not do that? Another task, we should rely more on trade income. So these are big, sort of long-term tasks. And you can see they add control points and treasury. Some of them also add culture, uh, religion, that sort of thing. So this is where the sort of paradox side comes into it. Control points, the more control you have, the better you run your, um, run your realm. Um, the more money you make, all that sort of thing. Uh, treasury obviously is just the amount of money you have get at least eight trade but that seems able to to be done right vdm here we are you have varant s disease mod what you should know save with latin letters yeah that's fine so we got to make sure we remember some of this stuff um so basically if there's a revolution make sure we open that first uh do not start the battle um until you've opened all all the messages at the beginning of a turn. Yeah, okay. So, administration points. Displayed in the window of the government they receive depends on your ministers. Uh, so, you get administration points from your ministers. Administration points are used in the event. Stability, nationalization, reducing inflation. So, the more admin points, like, like um, Paradox, the more stable, the better our government will be. Stability, the most important indicator that affects all aspects of the game. To enhance the stability, open the leader panel and click the... Question mark. So we'll do that in a second. Nationalization. New region need to be nas uh, nationalized. To do this, open the region panel and click the question. If the region is not nationalized in the region panel, you will see an icon with a red flag on top. So that's going to be quite hard getting nationalization into our things. Expansion occurs when there is not nationalized regions. So that is obviously a negative buffer. Each region gives the negative effects and plus 10 administration points to the value of stability. Expansion displayed in the government panel in the prime minister panel. Cool. Coinage. So we can do coinage and inflation and all that sort of thing. So those are the kind of features as well as those events that you've just seen pop up. So we need to rise religion level to at least five. Another task. Colonize North America. Have five colonies in America. So these are kind of long term things. Another one already. Bribes are not uncommon practice, and with the right amount of money, we could perhaps manage to influence cardinals or infiltrate a religious order. Side with the government again. We are the government, so why would we not? Create an army for our nation. I guess if you wanted to be revolutionary, you'd probably side with the rebels. An army size of at least 75% of its force limit. 
I didn't know there was force limit in this, but that's interesting. Control points and treasury of 5,000. Another task, build a global trading company. Cool. Another one, build a large tea plantation. Cool. Uh, build a large sugar plantation. Rise religion level to at least eight. Wow. We're getting a lot of tasks. We can see them build a commercial basin. Yeah, cool. So religion and culture. Progress of culture, five out of 50. Religion level, religious resistance, zero. So we don't have any religious rebels going to pop up anytime soon. But our religion level itself is not brilliant. Now, here you can see buildings are a lot more expensive. Look, 9,000 for the House of Representatives. 7,500, 3,000 for an ordnance factory. Opera House seems reasonably about the same price. But what you can also see... So we make a lot more money in this game. Look at that tax and trade income. It's fantastic. But things do cost more. So that's the balancing element there. Now, in order to get our religious level up, let's get the church school. Minus five, the Sikh population. We have no Sikhs here. Um, yeah, it's 95% Protestant, though. That is the one thing that's kind of weird. I, mm, We're making a lot of money, so I'm willing to invest in that church school to start with. We've got the weaver's uh, cottage here. We've also got a school. So let's get our gentleman inside the school. And of course, the first thing we are going to research is either the plug bin or canister shop. Could get a military syllabus right away, but 33 turns. I don't think so. So let's go for canister shop. Some of these icons are different. Okay, we can go for the slave trade. Okay, oh, an unfortunate start in technology. I mean, by 1700, you'd think they would have worked out what that was. <laughs> but, okay, apparently the Dutch had it. But I think that's probably slightly historically inaccurate. But yeah, in the Netherlands. So basically the plan we're going for, guys. In the Netherlands, uh, we're going to defend. We have a fort, so it's very easy to defend. We will get a few extra troops here with the Navy. But we're going to go into the colonial areas. That's where we make our money. That's where we're going to make a serious amount of money. The problem with the Netherlands is you're pretty much surrounded on all sides by enemies, no matter which way you go. If you go against Spain, Spain tends to send a big fat army around to try and kill you, which is fine. But then you're split between two regions. You'll just be yo-yoing. Um, but the one thing we do have to remember, we have to keep Amsterdam at all costs. If we lose Amsterdam, we're kind of screwed. So you can see all these brand new units, guys. There's a platoon of drummers, a platoon of fighter musicians with their music making an essential contribution to the morale. So you kind of do want some of these guys. So first things first, we'll get one of those for morale. We have militia and pikemen and only one line infantry unit. So the next thing we should do is probably get some line infantry. We'll get one of the royal guard. Look at their 50 accuracy, 40 reloading skill. That's excellent. And then we'll probably go for... How are they compared to the, the expatriates? Grenadiers are definitely a lot better than the expatriates. So let's go for the grenadiers. Oh wait, that was an expatriate. And we don't have a limit on the grenadiers. However, they only have 90 troops. So, do you know what? We will get... We'll probably get... We'll get two grenadiers and then the rest of them expatriates. So yes, we're probably not going to be able to... Hmm, Actually, cancel you. We'll get that to start with, and we'll go across to America. Now, this is where we're going to start making our money. Uh, Param hmm. Paramaribo, that's that's how you say it, is an excellent, excellent, excellent settlement, guys. Unbelievably good. Um, look how much money it's making. Already 5,500 in one turn. So what we want to be doing over here is potentially getting a bit of an army together. Where's our other? Do you have a military encampment? Yes, you do. So we can actually get some good units here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go for the Irish Brigade. How many can we get? We can get as many as we want. 40, 35, pretty decent. Better than the militia, 25, 25. Colonial, 30, 25 versus 40, 35. Yep, let's go for the Irish infantry if we can. As many as we can, and we're going to get set sail. For the pirates, because we're already at war with the pirates, and they have these two lovely islands. Then we'll have four regions, and then we need to pick off someone else. Potentially one of the uh, Native American nations, if there's any here. 
maybe the Cherokee, and we'll go into Cherokee temp territory. Um, that would be excellent. And India, of course, is another big theatre of war we're going to go for. Uh, but at the minute, we don't have enough money to do anything, so we'll stick our boats in there. That Sticking our boats in there is just stopping anyone, any enemies, like pirates, destroying our trade. They can still blockade it, but they can't destroy the port. And if you run out of money and they destroy the port, it's very annoying. Now, before we get going, let's go on to diplomacy. Let's see who we can trade with. France doesn't like us. Neither does Spain. Uh, do we want Austria? I think probably the Ottomans will be a rich partner. They have a lot of ports. No, you won't accept. Spain very likely won't accept. Oh, no, they did. Okay, now we're friendly. Okay, that's fine then. Be friendly. France as well. That's all our... Uh, Things done up, apart from Hanover, because that will be a land. Nope, you don't want to go. Westphalia is friendly, so please accept. Okay, nope. Let's see how much that's added. I think we were on... Yeah, that's a lot. That's added another 2,500 to our treasury. Right. It's been a long first turn, guys, but we've been explaining everything as we go along. Jurkusta. What a weird name. Cool. Well, I'm assuming it's not weird if you're Dutch. It's just, it's a weird to an English-speaking person, okay? I'm sorry. Um, cool. Right, let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. Spain might attack us straight away. I doubt it, though. I doubt it. We are making, as you can see, we are making a lot of money. Military alliance with France. Uh, we're allied with Britain and Austria. That will probably mean that we have to choose between them at between Britain and France at some point. But for now, it protects us against Spain. So let's accept that. Um, I've turned the music right down, guys, just because I think some of it might be copyrighted. I'm not quite sure. Um, I think Terminator mentioned that. See, we're already... So if we... <sighs> we'll be at war with Saxony very soon if we do this. But we can... Mm, we can defend. Württemberg is on... Our side? I think we're fine. I think we accept. Keep Keeps our alliance with Austria. Austria is a strong powerhouse in Central Europe, so let's keep that going. But yeah, very excited about this mod, guys. It, it looks amazing. Um, should be good fun. And I really want to get into a battle, but it's going to be a few turns. This first episode is going to be a lot of campaign management, um, a lot of building up, just to see how it goes. Um, could we walk through Württemberg now that we are in a war with them? I don't think so. That would be a nice ad, to be honest. But then again, in total, it's so easy to declare war on your allies that it doesn't really matter. Ah, pirates raiding our trade. Uh, it's not that much, actually. It's just a tiny bit of spices. Do we have any Indian men and stuff? Let's have a look. No. Which is good, because you have to protect them. So, not there either. Oh, we do. Oh, you're going to die. I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, no point moving them, because they, they're in the right place. Recruitment report. Netherlands and Curacao. Curacao. I can't pronounce it. I'm sorry. Traits gained. So, all these guys get loads of extra traits and stuff as well. Intellectual advance. Yeah. Let's ignore that, that we ever researched that. <laughs> Empiricism? No, we're going for military next, and it's got to be so. Sh it's got to be uh, canister shot. Canister shot is so powerful in this game. Redonkulously powerful. Another task: build a naval board. Fifty control points. Religion and culture. We've gone up 0.5 in culture. We are influenced by the following countries: Dutch Guyana, France. So because that region's not nationalized, I'm guessing. We're getting influenced by France over here. Are you nationalized? Let's have a look. Oh, Jesus. How is that? Uh, how is our religion going down so much? That's going to be an issue. You do not have 100 points of the region is already yours. Or, okay. So I guess we, yeah, we need 100 points to nationalize it. Look at that religion, though. That's going to become a problem. Deep gem shaft plus 1,500. Probably not anything to sniff at. We'll 
go for some colonial militia here just to keep it, just in case France attacks. And here, of course, we go for some four-inch mortars. They will be shite, <laughs> but artillery is always fun. Let's go for some of that. Do you know what? We should get some pikemen and some horses. Go for VOC cavalry, and then next turn we'll buy some pikemen, and then we'll probably set sail. Yeah, we'll set sail for the pirates. Destroy the pirates. Over here. Can't get a naval board yet. We don't have a thing. Let's go for the opera house. Keep everyone happy. Be nice to build some infrastructure. Oh my god, look at the price of roads. I did not realize that. 3,000 for normal roads. Let's get the barracks up here and the cannon foundry. And... Uh, we... I'm going to not focus on India too much. We could declare war on Mysore. The Mathratas at the start of the game are pretty weak. So we could actually... Um, could actually go for them so no we don't have enough money for that let's 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 ignore that um anything else we can build here let's go for this that should increase our control right i think so cool right another turnover guys send the turn now we could send the army from the netherlands into the colonial lands but as i say war is on the horizon and it will strike at some point so we've just got to defend See, like, Prussia versus Austria. Oh, Prussia and Austria. Well, I, we're both allies. So, I'm... Okay, so, I will enter the side of Austria again. So, that's Prussia attacking Austria. Interesting move by Prussia, because Prussia, typically at the start of this game, is not actually that strong. Ideally, out here in uh, America, I'd like the pirates to take Martinique. Uh, that would be good for us, so we could take Martinique back off the Pirates. Shouldn't be too hard of battles. We don't know. Very hard, very hard does seem redonkulously strong uh, at the minute in this mod. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but yes, guys. Other games, other videos you can watch on the channel. Uh, we haven't got any Empire Total War content at the minute, actually. So this is the first one of that. But I do have a ranking video for all the factions. I've got a ranking video for all the Total War games coming out. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and of course, as I say, I've got um, the Scipio campaign. Let's go for some pikemen. Oh, we, we're at the limit of... Population too low. Okay. How do we find out the population? That's what I want to know. Population too low in general. Let's have a look at Europe. See whether we can recruit anyone. Yeah, we still can. That's interesting. But I'd like to find out what the population is. Oh, it says there. Less than 0.1 million people. Um, yeah, very low populations. So once we've recruited these guys. Should be good. Can we uh, get a general as well? Yes. Just van Dusen. Lots of Eusts. Yeah, cool. Let's have a look at what events we have sponsoring. We're side with the government again. It doesn't seem to uh, do any uh, damage or anything. So, of course, 15 progress of culture, which is awesome. Lots of traits gained. Oh, this guy's really good. We didn't have a look at the government. I mean, we probably should have done that. Uh, yeah, the head of the government's actually not great. The treasury guy is... Fucking unreal. You. Can I select you, please? Can I drag you? Normally, you can drag them, right? Get rid of the army guy. Oh, you're just as bad. We're going to need... That was trash. I should have clicked on the other one, shouldn't I? Let's go for a weaver's cottage here. That's 12 turns. So you can see how long things kind of take. This army, pretty decent, actually. Hmm. Yeah, but as I say, we're not going to be heading out. That should be enough to defend there anyway. No, mo no matter who assaults us. Get the gem mines upgraded over here. Uh, go for a governor's residence. Gets just more and more money. Let's get a logging camp. We'll upgrade this next time as well. That'll give it a lot more money as well. Fantastic. Right, another end turn. Let's go. I believe it's four turns per year. 
uh, in this mod. I could be wrong. I, I think it's four seasons, yep. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this mod and what you think of this campaign and the channel. All that good stuff. That would be fantastic. As I say, do check out the Terminator channel. He inspired me to make this, so thank you to him. Um, yes. Interesting to play this long in a Total War game without a battle, but there should be a battle soon. I think the Skippy Eye campaign, we had a battle pretty much within the first ten minutes, first seven minutes or so. But then again, I didn't need to explain all the mod and everything. You know, it's it's Road Total War Remastered. It's, it's been explained a hundred times before. It's been played a billion, million, trillion times before. Maybe not that much, but, you know. Right, another... Religion and culture. We are going up in culture, which is fantastic. Another conspiracy. One of your ministers tried to make a conspiracy to kill the ruler. Enter conspiracy mode. Is it here? This panel shows you the information about the. Yeah. No, nope, we don't want to increase stability. It's one of these ministers, though. I. If the. Side coinage. I didn't mean to do that. Oh shit. Which one is the one that is um, in the conspiracy? I don't know. So I know if you go here. Go here. Yeah, this is our... These are our things. Oh well, if, if the conspiracy succeeds, that rule is shit anyway, so I don't care. Success of the saboteur. Oh no, saboteur, another state successfully revolted in your region. Which one was that then? God, they're getting a lot of traits, which is great. Including the generals. Right, Kiroso, let's go. I think we're gonna we're gonna risk leaving no one here. They will have a tiny garrison, but not much. Um, and we'll go for San Jose first. Well, first of all, let's let's get here and make sure we don't get attacked by their ships. I know they have ships here. They've got ships everywhere, really. We'll have to go round then. It's going to be next turn. And for this turn, you go and sit in there so you don't get killed by the pirate navy. Fantastic. How are we doing in Europe? Who are we at war with then? Let's have a look. Um... Uh, no, us, please. Do we count as a major nation? Yeah, we do. We're at war with uh, Prussia, Poland. Prussia and Poland together. Be nice to go and snap up some of that territory, but as I say, we probably can't leave this behind. Spain will just come and gobble it all up. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. Um, let's go over to Berlin, though. Let's have a look. How are we doing on the research? I could have sworn that was six turns. I guess not. Maybe it got slowed down by something. Let's go for that. Oh, ooh, didn't mean to do that, unfortunately. Infrastructure. Can we go for infrastructure? Yep, yeah, I'd like infrastructure everywhere if we can. Can't build you up anymore, can we? Nope. Um, how about in here? Infrastructure? No, we can't quite get that. Let's get a couple more of these elite guys and a drummer platoon. I'll, I'll take that and end the turn and then we'll have our first battle, guys. Fantastic. Can't wait. This is going to be excellent. Yes. Well, I love this kind of marrying of Paradox and, you know, Total War together. I'm assuming a lot of this has come from Paradox. Uh, hello? Why? you? Do you want that? Is that what you want? Well, why did you just come to me with no demands or anything? I don't understand. We should also try and do a bit of trade uh, of technology when we do that. Generally seems to work quite well in this game. It is a bit of an exploit in terms of like other nations will just give you loads of technology. Um, but then again, you're giving them technology. So I guess it's not really an exploit. Um, but yeah, I love the marrying of the paradox versus the total war and... Makes me think the next historical total war. Why can't it have elements that are that are deep, um, that are like paradox? But then again, they are going for mass market appeal. And although paradox is very successful, is it mass market appeal? I'm not quite sure. 
Okay, we're still going up. We built buildings to give religion. Each of them gives uh, uh, such a level of religion. Church school. So our religion level is one. Cool. Uh, open the panel of the Minister of Justice and then click the question mark button. Right, let's do that. Make sure we get the right minister this time. This panel shows you the information about. The uh, oh shit! I should have read it all the way. So do we do the same thing? This one thousand coins to stop his conspiracy. Yeah, let's do it. Traits gained. The advantage is lost. Your country is no longer the most enlightened in the world. That's shit. That's probably why everything's going. In oh, everyone's got inflation as well because I turned on coinage. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Someone died here. Oh, one of the generals actually died. Oh well. Another task, build a college. Well, we're not going to be able to do that for a while. These are very long-term goals. Let's get the chapter school in there. What else can we build? Well, we can build the House of Representatives. I'll do that, definitely. Right, let's go for our first battle, guys. And let's see how hard this really is. Oh, it's only two units. Sea Wolves. Whoa, that's a cool name. And Irregular Pirates. Let's go, then. Let's see. Also, the uh, the uh, they've made the accuracy of the cannons a lot, lot less. <laughs> like, genuinely loads, loads, loads less. So, I'm not even sure our, our mortars will hit anything, to be honest. Uh, we'll get a nice line formation set up and try and shoot the enemy. I think with this mod, you have to kind of get really close to the enemy to even hit them. Especially early game. I think later game units would probably hit them a little bit better. It's almost like uh, Napoleon Total War 3 in that sense, um, if anyone's seen that mod before. Right, here we are. We're already in the town. That's the edge of the map. Where is the battle map? Maybe we not get a battle map? Also, why can't I turn the camera? There we are. Where's the deployment zone? Is that the deployment zone? It seems very far away. It's got to be. Yeah, that's got to be. I hope they're not like miles away. This is the one big thing with um, empires. Like the battles do take an absolute age. The mortars can't move and they only have circular shot, which if anyone knows anything about mortars is not ideal. <laughs> but yeah, we'll send two squadrons out. Why are you spread out like that? I don't like that. I noticed this in thingies as well. I don't like the way they're spread out like that. It's annoying. And we'll get our we'll get you guys coming through here. You guys can have this uh, colonial pikeman, and you guys can have the colonial. Oh, that's just militia. You can have the militia. General, uh, we'll keep the general back. I guess we'll send the cavalry on the left flank. Ah, oh, the map's down there. I, sometimes my um, they're all the way at the back. Oh my god! Right, colonial militia. Then you guys come up. Just walk as well. The, the fatigue system is is really uh, changed in this mod. I want to I want to see how inaccurate you are, guys. So let's. Um, yeah, that is pretty inaccurate. I pressed here. Let's press here. See how inaccurate they are now. This is the thing with Empire. The battles just do take a long, long time. It would help if the battle map was a little bit smaller. Like, this battle map is massive. Like, even with two full stacks on here, it's huge. But let's uh, have a look at our troops. We've not even had a look at them yet. What am I doing? The Irish Brigade. And they are all ginger. Wow. 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 <laughs> That's all I can say about that. They do look very nice, though. I'm Ginger, so... I would be part of the Irish Brigade, apparently. Colonial uh, militia. Look like your standard militia. Got those hats on. Lovely. Oh, look at that flag. I love that. What are the flags? Are the flags different per battalion? Oh. That would probably be uh, almost impossible to do. Why are you walking in a, in a column formation? I didn't tell you to do that. It does look cool, though. 
And the VOC Cavalry. Nice. Yeah, the units look lovely. The game also feels pretty smooth. I, I like that. Um, so you two guys. You're obviously not going to get all the way there, are you? Get you in a nice thin line formation. There we are. Cavalry. So they get tired very easily. So how are they looking? They're still fresh because they're walking, which is excellent. We'll keep the pikemen in reserve because knowing the uh, AI, they will love to charge. I don't like them being spread out like that, though. I wish we could actually have a proper line. Uh, General's bodyguard, you guys go here. Looks like they're getting quite close to this side. So let's see. I like the colours as well, the blue, the hovering blue. That that's quite nice. Now we are going to test out a few things. So what I would normally do in this situation is run my troops pretty much to about here before they fire a volley. Now we don't have plug bayonets yet, so charging the enemy after a volley is really not that useful. I've got to say probably. Our guys in melee will be terrible without plug bayonets. Now you can run. Um, and you guys. Um, you guys get to here and run if you can. That would be nice. So let's see how inaccurate they are at this, this range. Let's fire a volley, boys. Let's go. Skirmish mode. We're not going to do that. We killed about three in those volleys. We're not... Great. Three and two volleys. We'll let them reload and then we'll go after them again. Let's see what this militia volley does. It'll probably be tra trash. Oh, God, I forgot about you guys. You can fire at the pirates, but I doubt you're going to do anything, to be honest. How are you now? You're still fresh after that running. Okay. Right, these guys. We're going to get you up close and personal. Um, and we'll send in the general behind just in case they decide to attack. Actually, turn you off fire mode because apparently that is a bit of an issue. Sea wolves are taking some damage. How are our guys? Pretty much undamaged apart from this battalion. Oh, I love those sounds. Can't even see that enemy. Yes! Surely that's done some damage. God, it, they are so inaccurate. I know muskets were, were inaccurate back in the day. Someone trained these guys to shoot at their knees. <laughs> cool. Cool, though. Really cool. Like, how close do we need to get for you guys to hit anything? Like, we are pretty much... Is that like 30 meters away? Don't want to get any closer. Right. Right. Time to end this joke. Okay, they're moving. They're probably moving to counter the cavalry. Good for us. We can come in and shoot them a bit. Get running. Okay, those pirates have also moved to counter the cavalry. God, they are not taking any damage. I know... Is your, your firing position... Is, you're not behind a hill or anything, are you? Oh, I love the smoke effects. It does really make you feel like you're in a sort of battle back in the day. I think... I don't know what they're doing, but what we can do is try and run our uh, pikemen in there and uh, combine... Oh! Look at those mortar shots. They're more like... Oh, yes! Come on! Oh, we're hitting our own troops, probably. God, it takes a long time to kill these guys. You're probably going to be fighting all these battles sometimes. Six speed, to be honest. They will route very easily, though. That's the one thing. But then again, our troops will route very easily. Still firing at those guys. Okay, you can't even fire. Let's get them boxed in, then. We're going to take a little bit of friendly fire with this, but judging by how inaccurate they are at shooting the enemy, I don't really worry about them shooting their own troops. So a lot of, a lot of volleys. Like, they've used probably third of their ammo and killed 40 troops. Oh, baby. Yes. Uh, probably stop you firing now, to be honest. Yeah. God, it's 
They are so inaccurate. It's crazy. Ooh, who are you firing at? That's what I want to know. Right, let's get the pikemen in there. We'll get you up here, ready to charge. I need to get really close. You two can get, like, majorly close. We're going to be taking a bit of friendly fire with that, but... Uh, as I say, judging by how terrible they are at firing at the enemy, I hope we don't hit ourselves. Okay, good charge. Now let's go with the cavalry. Let's go. Nice. Oh, sent them flying. Come on, make them break. Yes, cavalry, you're doing a good job, bros. Broken. Pikemen, get there, my friends. They're still fresh and steady. Uh, so what we'll do, send these guys in. Melee is OP in this game. Like, when you fight the natives, you, you get absolutely shredded. Right, what we'll do now is we'll just do that. And uh, you guys do that. And you guys do that. Just to stop them firing for a second rather than putting them all on a stop firing. Cavalry, that was a bit of a trash, uh, trash, uh, trash thing, wasn't it? Uh, do we need to shatter them both? No, we can end the battle. Heroic victory, fantastic. The first battle out of the way. Tiny battle, but the first battle nonetheless. But yeah, I love the effects. Uh, yeah, I do love the effects. Um, uh, show battle statistics. So these guys... Uh, killing, yeah, losing and killing about the same against Vagabond Pirates, though, which is a bit meh. Uh, chance to steal research. I'll do that. Yeah, okay. Trinidad and Tobago is ours. Trait gained, used to ban oozers. Rumors of cowardice. Really? Minus one morale. That's not good. Oh, this, this guy's died now. Oh, someone's died. Not the uh, not the gentleman. The rake. We probably will go and uh, try and steal research. What's, what's that? Yeah, that's a that's a town. What about here? No, we can't steal research. I guess that's uh, probably an option that was something in the game. Uh, something in the VDM. Cool. So, first battle out of the way. Let's uh, get ready for our second then. How are we looking here? We need to repair. Can't... Ooh. African musketeers. Uh, I guess... Yeah, from the plantations. Um, and let's get... You guys... In there. Get rid of their fleet. So that we can... Oh, it's not even damaged. That's great. There's a shipyard. It would... Ooh, what's this? Queen Anne's Revenge. Why has it got Blackbeard as a thing? That's pretty cool, though. I like it. Um, also, guys, we won't be playing any naval battles. Naval battles suck. <laughs> naval battles absolutely suck. Uh, like, I don't understand why people enjoy them, but for me, they suck. I, and I suck at them, so no, we'll be doing auto-resolve naval battles. Unless there's, like, a tiny little one that... You know, we want to see what the ships are like and stuff, but no. Naval battles do suck, <laughs> unfortunately. Make sure you subscribe, guys, so you get access to all these videos. And hit the bell button for the notification. But yeah, fun so far. It is slow-paced, but that's the thing with Empire. Empire in general is pretty slow-paced. Yes, pirates, I know. Ah, pricks. Pricks! That is annoying. Oh, Prussia! Why must you do this to me? Let's go. Okay, we'll take that ship. Thank you. Free ship. We didn't even need to... Uh... No, no, no! Oh, that was close. Yes. Region Trinidad and Tobago is not nationalized. Okay, I'll try. It's the Minister of Justice every time. Why did you keep doing this, bro? Calm down, man. This panel shows you yes, 825 po coins. That seems cheap. Um, religion level. 
Culture's going up, which is great. Side with the government again, of course. Yes, he's got some nice traits, this uh, this Admiral now. Fantastic. Cool under fire. Do you know what I'd love you to be able to do? Uh, success of the Saboteur. Saboteur, another state, successfully revolted. Oh, stop revolting. I guess that's why we need stability and control. Saxony's destroyed. Uh, more inflation. How do we stop the inflation? That's what I want to know. Um, but if I, I, it happened by clicking on this, didn't it? This panel shows you the information about the character. Okay, I don't know what you're doing. I've paid you some coins, but uh, what do we do here? This panel shows you the information okay, I'm paying all the ministers. Yeah, fine. Um, I don't know why, but we are. Got some drummers. Right, let's get these guys moving if we can. Uh, will they be happy? That's what I want to know. No, they won't. <laughs> Clearly. Um, get that. And you know what? We will recruit. These guys. 30, 25. Just the same as the colonial militia. We'll get a uh, colonial militia. We'll make some infrastructure here as well. That should keep them happy, right? You've got roads now. Uh, and we'll bring over the fleet. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Nearly got five regions in this area now, which is fantastic. Oh, that is a big navy that they have. But I believe this is the last um, pirate sort of port they have. Um, can you get off the boat? Yes, you can. Excellent, and we just can't get to safety. That's an issue, uh, but we can retreat, and they do generally retreat quite far with naval invasions. These guys have a bit more of a bigger garrison, so that should be interesting. Hopefully, they'll fall a bit quicker. The, the Pirates have a decent-sized navy. Going to war with Spain would not be bad, because look at all this juicy territory. You can get Havana, you can get Cuba... Uh, sorry, Santa Domingo, we could get uh, Panama, New Andalusia, New Granada, all this juicy territory. Um, but it would be tough fighting the Spanish through this area. To be honest, we really need a city over here, not just uh, these sort of towns where you can only get one building. But yeah, let's end the turn again. Let's see what happens. Hello, Berlin. No one in Berlin. Prussia's taken Saxony, though. Oh, well. Prussia can try and invade us, and generally the AI does like to do that, which is weird, I find. Uh, they like to do a bit of naval invading. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're, they're going to have to come up against a fort, and good luck assaulting us in a fort. It's not going to happen, even on this difficulty. It requires... Now, next turn, I think we'll focus on building up um, India a little bit more. And then go after the Mah Maharajas. Yeah, that's was always going to happen. Ooh, what's that? A race-built galleon. Ooh. What does a race-built galleon mean? Ranger. Yeah, we're not going to win that. Oh, perfect. That was a great retreat. That's where we wanted to go anyway. Workers on strike, Trinidad and Tobago. They're only on minus one and they'll be down soon. So I don't think they'll revolt, which is great. More inflation. How do I don't know. How do we stop? Occurs in the presence of gold and silver mines by coinage. When treasury more than the limit of treasury for three turns, reducing inflation. Open the Minister of Finance panel and click the question mark. That's the Minister of Finance, right? Question shows you the information about the character his name I, I don't know how do we get off the saboteur sort of mode oh do we go here and here yes there we are okay right that makes sense reduce inflation yes please do we have more than 50 points yes also can we nationalize somewhere let's see I don't have a hundred points now. Ah, 
What about Dutch Guyana? No, we could have used those to nationalize, but we've reduced inflation, which is good. New task, conquer more lands. Has at least seven regions, cool. Nearly up to the next level of culture, which is excellent. Fantastic. Netherlands got a few more troops. Smallpox, that's not good. We don't want any smallpox. Right, let's go in for this second battle, guys. Oh, it, it looks pretty even. So we'll do a... Uh... Wait one sec. Continue the siege. We'll do a quick save. And let's assault. The Battle of Bunker Hill in 1775. Yeah, I love these little, um, you know... Explanations of battles. They're excellent. Really good. Um, and if I was playing by myself, I'd be reading them all the time. Learning about battles. What a great way to spend your loading screens. Better than tips like, you know, use your soldiers to kill. Like, that's literally like some of the tips on the Total War. Um, Total War tips. We might... I guess they're going to be right at the back. We're going to try and use these buildings because, as I say, they're really, really tough enemies. Uh, and the pikemen should do wonders for us here. He has doubtful courage, this guy, so we've got to be careful because we'll have terrible morale now. Um, right, you guys, actually, with the militia as well. Um, where are they set up? Set up right back there. We'll come through the town. The town is a big bottleneck for us, and that should be good in getting our superior line infantry troops into action. You guys should be able to fire. Just fire here, I guess. Let's look at some of their troops. They have better troops this time, I think. Sea wolves, pirates. They don't have any different type of troops. I thought they did. Are they all just sea wolves and pirates again? Yep, all sea wolves and pirates, it looks like. Okay, those mortars are so wildly inaccurate. It's crazy. Uh, I can't wait till we have explosive shot, though. That would be great. I think we want to anchor off this building if we can. But we are... Oh, we're, yeah, we're too far away. Oh, Jesus. We're a long way away from that. Well, let's speed things up. Incredibly slow. The way they walk. Come on, guys. Let's go. Uh, we might have to anchor off this building. They think they're strong enough to take us on. So, what are you going to do? Uh, what we'll do is we'll send you in there. Early, early days, they have no artillery. So, we didn't need to worry about the artillery. We'll get you there. We'll get the colonial militia. This side. Pikemen. Uh, and then the cavalry out the back. When is this next volley going to come, guys? See the volley. As I say, kill those sea wolves if you can. Yep, he's going to get there, which is great. Oh, it's just like a blanket volley. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, they're getting in. Nice one, guys. They won't be able to take that building without a lot of fighting. Oh, okay. Right, we need to sort of angle this way. Get running. We guys need to get running now. Get running into position, will you? We need to flank these guys as well. That would be excellent. M militia are kind of trash, though. That's the one thing. Okay, they're going for a charge. So we really need to get our cavalry here. Okay, they're going for the mass melee charge. It's always difficult. You don't fire. Going for the mass melee charge, which always works in the pol uh, in uh, Empire. Where's the uh, pikemen? Oh, Jesus, pikemen, we need you. Get into those pirates, if you would. This is going to be tough. I don't think we're going to win this. Okay, they're routing. They're wavering. They should route. Yeah, come on. Mate. Yeah, they're broken. Now out. Now out, my friends. Out. We'll need to charge again. See the AI doing that then. 
it knew I'd clicked on them, so they changed the target. Get in there, my bros. You guys get there if you can. Come on, cavalry is OP. Let's go. We need to break these guys again. Yep, broken. Let's go. General, into there. Oh, this is tough. Right, you need to come and rescue. This cavalry is literally to the rescue of everyone. Go into those sea wolves if you would. They're going to start coming back though. That's the one problem. We need, we've need we not shattered anyone. We've just broken them. Yeah, wavering. That was a bit of a crazy move by them because it looks like we're doing quite well. Breaking everyone. Um, I guess you follow them down. Right, you guys come back. I want to... Get some shots on these pirates. Okay, we're battered a bit. Our troops are battered a bit. Oh, that was a good volley by them. Let's keep going. Okay. Right, what we need you to do is come and run down some of these troops. Uh, you also need to get down there and run down them down. The general's getting stuck in. This should stop his doubtful courage trait, hopefully. Right, you guys now get here. Okay, so once the battle started, I actually got a lot faster than what I thought it was going to go. <laughs> right, cavalry, let's go. Stop them. Make sure they're shattered. Yeah, once they're shattered, it's fine. They're shattered already. Uh, once, If they're just broken, though, they, uh, they will come back. Get a volley off, guys. Let's see. Let's see what this volley does. Come on, you've got a straight line of fire here. You shouldn't have any problems. Kill three. Come on, guys. So inaccurate. You need like 100 accuracy for these guys to do anything. Right. Cavalry, come back. Don't like that separation sort of um, thing with the units. When when you uh, set them up, they, they separate uh, by a bit. I know it's probably more accurate. But this is a game at the end of the day. We're doing some damage to them now, which is nice. Right, you guys get here. You to get into those pirates. They're probably going to charge us. Yeah, it looks like they are. So let's go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. No, no, no. Okay, good shots, actually. Good little volley. This should break them all now, I think. I believe, unless it's anyone... Oh, there's one unit of sea wolves coming back. Okay, you're going to run through our guys, so you're all going to die. Uh, right, get out, get out, cavalry, because you're going to get shot to pieces. Same with you, pikemen, let's go. Uh, and there's one unit of sea wolves left. So, what we're going to do, guys, is all you guys halt. Reload, if you would. Are they shattered? Yes, they are. Fantastic. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving it. It's like I'm there on the battlefield with my Irish brethren. Getting our ginger locks flowing and shooting pirates. Fantastic. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to experiment. So I want all you guys to like come here like that. Pikeman, you can be in reserve again. Fantastic. Hmm. They're going to go after the cavalry. I just want an open sort of uh, view on these. How tired are you now? They're still fresh, steady, eager. You should be eager, but these guys took a beating. The Brave Regiment. We should rename them, actually. They're the 7th Battalion, the Irish Brigade. Let's rename the 7th Battalion something cool. Low lie the fields of Athen Rye, eh? Dude, we're going to get literally as close as we... Like, really close to these guys and see how much it makes a difference. I'm going to turn them all on fire at will at once. They're still confident. One of them's winded a bit. Right, they have 140. So before we get them going, we know they had 140. I'll put you on fire at will now. Let's see these volleys crash out. 
So, oh, that was actually a good volley. So you literally have to get this close for them to do anything. Come on, guys, shoot, will you? And you won't be uh, they're concerned. Come on, fire! I guess they hadn't reloaded. You guys gonna fire yet or not? Should be. Yeah, that's so. You basically have to get that close to them to do any damage. Which is fine. Makes sense. Ah, come on, cavalry. Don't want you taking unnecessary losses. The next. Yes, the next volleys are coming. I want to just see this volley. Yes. We're absolutely smashing them now. Um, let's go. Charge. I wonder how much experience makes a difference in this. I know it makes a little bit of a difference in Empire, but not a huge amount. It'd be nice if it did make a big deal of difference, including, like, mainly on skill, reload skill, because that is that does come from experience and accuracy at this time period, definitely. And I'm not saying you can aim a musket, because you really can't, but it's about the experience of, from what I've read anyway, of, of aiming low, aiming for someone's foot or their knee, because the kickback on the musket really is strong. Yes, victory! Faters, yeah, so. We'll steal their research, I guess. Region captured. Yeah, the pirates are destroyed now, so that navy that was chasing us around is gone. Can repair this. That's a. That's a shipyard, and it's got a trade route coming out of it. Yeah, four trade routes. That's interesting. So you could still do it. With a shipyard, you can still get trade routes. That's awesome. Have to make sure we exempt this region from tax. Uh, can we uh, replenish these boys? Yes, we can. 3,000 to replenish? No problem whatsoever. I'm surprised that they aren't happier, seeing as they're 90% Protestant. Resistance to foreign occupation. I suppose it was a, a pirate cabal. So now we have, we do, ah, uh, we've only got four regions. Oh well. So, I guess our attention shifts to India. Oh, okay. Mahar the Maratha Confederacy is taken up here. But I wouldn't mind one of these regions. That's a big city. That would be perfect for us. Wonder who's allied to them though. Oh, some more Irish brigades, eh? Nice when we get those barracks. But we'll get some Hindu musketeers. Oh, they're irregular though. I don't like irregular infantry. Hmm. The Irish Brigade have not failed us. Apparently there's an unlimited number of uh, Irishmen in the, <laughs> in the Netherlands. So up here as well, we'll probably go with some more cavalry. Guard Dragoons, eh? We'll get some Guard Dragoons. And oh, those cannons are shite. We need to wait until we can get the foundry, really. Which is one more turn away. Cool. I'm loving this. I don't want to stop. <laughs> that's, the, that's the amazing thing. I don't want to stop. It's cool. It's fun. Could do with recruiting a uh, just a militia here to keep this port from being blockaded. Like this. Right, you guys, let's go. Get you up here. Don't want to declare war in France. France has some nice territory down here, though. Um, cool. Right, let's end the turn anyway. And we're coming towards the end of the video. But we'll end the turn and see. We'll get that canister, canister shot uh, research done, which is excellent. I also hope I can reduce... So those points that we were adding up... Uh, the control points, we used 100 of them to get rid of inflation. So we didn't have another 100 to nationalize any of these regions. Now, I don't really know what the nationalization does until we press that button, I guess. So we'll see when we when we get enough points to... to uh, I think I can call control points, right? So I guess we'll see. But yeah, fantastic. But yeah, it's been fun. It's fun having that added extra bit. And the uh, course, the battles... More realistic. Good fun. We were only fighting pirates though. Canister shot. Yes. Fantastic. 
Workers on strike. How unhappy are you still? Minus two. That's quite good. Yeah, it takes two turns for these guys to get replenished. Three pound guns. Oh, God. Like, okay, yeah, they would kill you if it hit you. But that has that is no firepower whatsoever. Garrison Dragoons. I like that. Dragoons are not really cavalry. Mounted line infantry. Yeah, but we don't want them to come off their horses. The VOC cavalry. 11, 22, 12. 11, 22, 12, 8. 9, 11, 10, 7. So these are a lot worse, but it's still cavalry. So I think we go for that. Also, where are you? 7th Battalion. Oh, no, I'm in caps lock. The Brave. Well done, troops. You did well. Should call you the Brave. Here it is. 7th Battalion, the Brave. They're a special battalion now. Okay, William Grayson, armchair general. Traits gained. The advantage is lost. Your country is no longer the richest. Very sad. Okay, uh, inflation is not going up anymore. Which is good. Ceylon, we got some Irish brigades. Smallpox inoculation. Well done, guys. Got vaccines. 40 out of 50. I don't know what happens when that goes up to 50. That's all I want to know. <laughs> Dirty elections. Of course, side with the government. Uh, task completed. Create an army for our nation. 105,000. So apparently our force limit is 75% now. Right, let's, we should have 100 points. Uh, the region... Okay, the region's already nationalised, I guess. Let's see what we do with Punda. See if we can do it there. I don't have 100 points. I thought I just got 100 points. Yes! Yay, it's nationalised! What happened? I don't know! I don't know! What did it do? It is already nationalized. I guess maybe next turn we'll see. But it's a very small population. Could get some navy. Queen Anne? Nah. Don't need navy. They just need to ferry troops around. What can you recruit? Lots more units, actually. Colonial line infantry, VOC infantry. Uh, more well, it's more of the same. Twelve pound a cat, twelve pound cannons. Takes a long time to build you, so we will build you. Just for when uh, things kick off in Europe, we're ready to go to war. There. Let's get a couple of Hindu guys. Um, I, I'm just. It says irregular, so. <sighs> I don't know, they're not too bad in terms of their stats. 40-35 versus 35-30. Hmm. Like, they have 180 though. These guys have 165. They have a garrison policing bonus, that's cool. Also, yes, elephant musketeers. Let's get one of those. Who doesn't want elephant musketeers? That is amazing. And look at their stats in melee. I don't think we'll be using them mm, as musketeers, to be honest. <laughs> Protestantism is going up here, which is fantastic. But yes. Well, guys, let me know what you think. Whether you, whether you think we should carry on this Let's Play. I'm definitely really enjoying it. I am loving it. It has been fun. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And hopefully, I'll see you again on the next video.